closers in javascript from interview perspective one of the important question let's take a look at that here we have one variable that is product now i am going to create one function with the help of function expression syntax here i have created the function now i will pass some parameters to it that is a b and c and after that i have written this console.log statement and here i am writing the product of a and b and in the return of this function we have one anonymous function which is returning the product of a b and c now i have taken here another variable and assigning the product function to it and passing 2 3 and 6 as the parameter and then I will console.log container function. Now what will happen? From here we are passing 2, 3, 6 and the parameters which will be received here as a, b and c and then we have this console.log a into b that is going to be 6. After that it will return this anonymous function which is going to be stored inside this container. So what is printed here? So here it will print 2 into 3 into 6 that is going to be 36 and the interesting thing is that here it is just accessing the variable outside of its scope. This function has its own scope and now it is accessing the variables outside of this scope as you can see a b and c this is the part of its outer scope and in this function it is accessing those three variables and this is just happening because of closures in javascript let's try to run this code so as we can see here we have printed 6 and here we are printing 36 so closer is a function inside another function that has access to the outer function variable just like this function has the access to the outer function variable that are a b and c 